everyone welcome to one pot meals with Kate that's me and today we're gonna make one of my favorite dishes that I grew up eating it's Chinese stewed beef I have a pound and three quarters of boneless chuck shoulder it's got some nice fat on it which I absolutely love so I'm just gonna give this a rough chop and turn it into cubes and if you don't like too much fat then go ahead and trim some of it the nice thing with this dish is you can use a pretty cheap piece of meat and as long as you cook it long enough it'll be really tender this is unrefined cold pressed coconut oil and I'll probably put about a teaspoon that's probably more like a tablespoon um, and you'll notice that in this form it's actually coagulated um, but once it starts to heat up it'll melt into a nice oil while that's melting I'm gonna go ahead and put the beef back onto the platter and reserve that for when we're ready to dump it into the crock pot now I'm gonna cut up the onion ginger and garlic now ginger and garlic are two really main ingredients in all of Chinese cooking um, growing up in China and even in my Chinese household we I don't remember ever making a dish without ginger or garlic now just cut the skin off the ginger I know there are a lot of tricks to getting this off the most efficient way but I just like to trim it with my knife now, I really like having a strong ginger flavor so I'm gonna put a little bit more than probably what most people would put um, this is about I would say two thumbs worth so I'm just gonna slice the ginger and toss it in when we're ready now I'm going to peel some garlic um, I'm in a pretty garlicky mood so maybe we'll do let's see two four five we'll do six cloves now remember if you're eating garlic make sure your partner's eating garlic too if you don't have fresh garlic feel free to substitute with dehydrated or granulated garlic I do like keeping the large garlic cloves and I just give it a little smush with my palm to release the flavor um, but I'm gonna toss these in as is instead of chopping them up it is really nice to have a cooked whole clove of garlic to munch on with the beef stew okay so the coconut oil is melted I'm gonna go ahead and toss the beef in and again that was about a pound and three quarters of boneless chuck shoulder I'm gonna wash my hands I'm gonna grab my mixing utensil here I like to use a pair of chopsticks but if you don't have chopsticks on hand use whatever utensil you'd like so to start I'm gonna add some salt just just enough to cover the pieces some Chinese white pepper I'm gonna be really careful make sure I don't dump the whole jar in next is some Chinese five spice just enough to coat all the meat although the five spice already has star anise I also like to add a couple for extra flavor so I'm just gonna throw a couple in here now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar usually I would add rock sugar um, but I run out so I'm gonna use granulated sugar now I'm gonna to top this with soy sauce I prefer the gluten-free soy sauce um, but use whatever you have on hand it's getting really warm in here you could probably hear Leo panting in the background so we're gonna put the AC on uh, sorry about the noise from the blower now I'm gonna add the garlic and the ginger slices grab my chopsticks and give that a toss mmm I can already smell the anise and the white pepper the garlic and the ginger all the aromas that you want to smell when you're making Chinese food now I'm just gonna chop up the onion I'm using onion because I don't have scallions on hand if I did I would actually use that instead but I'm just using a sweet white onion I'm gonna give that a rough chop and toss it in now the onion will add quite a bit of liquid to this so I'm not gonna add any chicken stock or water I'm just gonna set this on high put the lid on and let it cook the beef stew is all ready to go it is set on high 
I'm gonna let it cook for four to five hours or until the meat is nice and tender. As I mentioned in previous episodes, I'm not big on following recipes. I like to feel the dish out and check back in an hour or so and see where we are flavor wise and if I need to make any adjustments. And I think part of that is because that's how I grew up cooking. My grandparents never had recipes. Every time I would ask them for a recipe for our favorite dish, they would say, I don't have a recipe. You just put a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and you know, these are the flavors you should look for when you're tasting. So that's really how I cook, is I cook by taste. So we'll check back in a couple of hours, see how we're doing, and if we need to adjust any flavors. So the beef stew's been cooking for a few hours. I have it set on high. Mmm, oh it smells delicious. It really hits all those notes that I remember growing up as a child in a Chinese household. You can smell the aroma of the nice and the ginger and the garlic and that beef, rich beef flavor is so, mmm, it's just mouth watering. I'm gonna add some green beans that I've chopped up in half. So I'll pop those in right on top. Oh, I forgot to taste the broth, so let's do that real quick. Mmm, that is so good. It's salty, sweet, mmm. You know what, I am gonna add a little bit of spice. I'll take some of the dried cayenne peppers that we grew, and I'm just gonna take two and break them in there. And of course, if you don't like spicy food, feel free to skip it. I'll just give that a little stir. And I'm gonna put the lid back on and we'll let this go for a few more hours so we should be ready to eat. The beef looks nice and tender. The green beans are well cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and serve it over some jasmine rice. And now I'm just gonna spoon in some beef. Got nice chunks of garlic and onion. Add a little bit more broth. Mmm, that's delicious. The beef is nice and tender. You can get all the flavors that we put in there. A little bit of the ginger, the five spice, the white pepper, a little bit of heat from the cayenne pepper. This is definitely a keeper, and I can't believe I never thought to make it in a crock pot before. I think we're gonna have to add this to our regular rotation. Hopefully you'll enjoy this as much as we will. Let me know what you think, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.